One of the new features in Inventor 2022 is the model states functionality. The great thing about model states is it allows you to break down your part file into several manufacturing stages. Now examples of this would be castings, um, mill or lathe work with your CNC machine, uh, or potentially even wire EDM. So rather than have several separate solid models, you can have all of these changes made to the same part file and everything will be organized um, and you won't have multiple files floating around. So to do this, you'll notice in Inventor 2022 at the top you'll see model states. There will be a master model state that contains everything. Um, and as you go through, you can create new model states to represent those manufacturing stages. So for this one, I'm going to call this casting. And for the casting, maybe you receive this component um, in a cast form and you add additional features to it in order to save material, save time, um, and, and really increase the volume production. So you'll notice in this case, maybe this groove along the top as well as the groove cut along the bottom for a gasket. And even some of these holes might be done with a CNC machine after you've received the casting. If that's the case, you can just simply remove them from that model state. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to suppress those holes. I'm going to take these grooves. I'm going to suppress those as well. So now what I have is a shape that does not have those grooves, does not have those holes, and those only live within a separate model state. So my casting model state is ready to go. I can then create a new model state. We'll call this turning. So here I'm going to add all of my turning features. So for this model state, when it's active, I can just go ahead and add this revolved cut back in. I might um, keep that hole suppressed if I'm going to do that hole with a CNC mill. So I'll leave that out. And this model state is good to go. Next, I'll create one more model state. This is going to be my mill. I'm going to call this milling. And for the milling model state, I'll add these holes back in. So I'm going to unsuppress the holes that were in there. Maybe I add some new hole features to these locations along the top. So I'll go ahead and add those in. I'm going to have this terminate on this surface here. And after you've added in those features, you'll notice since those were only added on that model state, if I go back to my casting model state, the grooves and the holes are removed. If I go to my turning model state, only the grooves are added back in. And if I go to milling, the grooves are maintained, but the holes are added as well. Another place that I like to use model states for manufacturing is when creating soft jaws. So when you're creating soft jaws with Inventor 2022, you'll most likely be using the combined feature. Now, with the combined feature, I'm going to select my base body that I'm going to be cutting from, and then I'm going to use my part as my tool body. Now, when I do this, you'll notice that it removes most of the material, but it leaves material where the hole and where the groove are when I create that combined feature. So traditionally, you'd have to go through and clean that up by removing those features manually. With model states, you can simply suppress those features for the creation of your soft jaws, um, and it really makes things a lot more streamlined. So to do that, what I'm going to start with is suppressing those features from that model state. So we'll create a new model state. I'm going to name this soft jaw. And then in my model state, I'll go ahead and suppress the holes that I don't need. I can then suppress the groove as well, so I'm going to suppress that revolution. And now when I go to combine, I'll do the same thing. I'll select this as my body. This will be my tool body, and I'll click OK. And now the soft jaw has been cut to hold this part, but it ignores the hole and the groove feature to create a nice, clean soft jaw. One final application of model states with Inventor 2022 is the ability to add CAM toolpaths on top of each individual model state. Rather than have three or four separate part files with the proper CAM toolpaths, 
you can contain all of this data in one single part file and contain all of your manufacturing stages in one single place. So to do this, let's say I'm adding in my toolpath for my soft jaw. I'll go ahead and activate the soft jaw model state and then go to my cam environment. Once I set up the stock, I can go in and add toolpaths. In this case, let's add a toolpath to machine this pocket. So I'll select my tool, select my pocket. I'm going to manage the settings for step overs and stock to leave and select OK. And I already have a toolpath created. I can simulate the motion of the tool and the stock removal, make sure that there aren't any collisions and that my cycle time is correct. I can then go and add all the additional toolpaths for each stage in my manufacturing process. So I could add toolpaths for milling, turning, um, and any final preparations that need to be made to the part. So what the final model would look like would be something like this, where I have all of my model states and then all of my CAM information in one single file. So if I wanted to observe what the milling operations look like, I'll activate my milled model state, go to CAM, and I can simulate the first milling operation, which will be removing material around the outside to clean it up and then drilling the holes in the casting. If I wanted to observe turning, I could activate my turned model state, which removes the holes. I can go to my cam operations and let's look at turn off number one, which will be machining a groove into the side of this face. So grooving out the face and the internal bore of the casting. And then lastly, let's say I want to look at soft jaws. I can activate soft jaw for side one. I can look at the shape and then I can go and simulate the machining operations for soft jaw number one. So the great thing with model states is that it helps you really track changes to the manufacturing process, but also maintain all of your CNC programming data alongside your design data.